hey all of you hope you guys are great and in the last video we had completed our monthly plan system in our api so if you haven't watched i will link in the video in the i button on the description so you guys can follow that so here we're going to start continue working on the model okay we're going to add some cool property cool functionality to our model so let's move to that so this is the model basic model we have designed so far and before we do that let's come here and what we can do we're going to talk about some important concept here so we have this schema and the first and the format concept i want to talk about is let's let's say virtual property okay virtual property so what this virtual property exactly is so what this virtual property exactly is sometimes what happened that you don't want to store certain information in your database but you want to have those data only at the time of execution and you can calculate those data when the requests made okay so let me show you how it work so here we're going to use this virtual property and it's going to take the same thing it will have to have a name of the virtual property which you want to create so i want to create duration week and it will take this get method and the reason why we are taking this normal function because we want to have this keyword and this keywords allow us to access the model and all the property in that but if you use the arrow function we can't use that okay so that's why i'm going with this normal function and let's come here and we have to simply return this duration and we have to simply multiply with this seven okay S seven so this is the one virtual property we have created and whenever we'll call the function we'll add this duration week in our data which we are serving to the client okay so to show you this in working first we have to save it down okay so save it down and this will not work let me save this for and let me show you what i mean by that so if i simply call this name get nft stats because that's the route for that okay so we have bunch of route you can see it's growing slowly slowly so let's come here make the request and here you can see we don't have those we don't have that the virtual property we have created in the output because we have to do one more thing okay so here we have to attach this virtual property in our in our schema model okay here we have to so that's what we're going to do right here we'll take this object and here we'll say to json virtual and it's true if you do this it will work fine so now if you hit the request and let's scroll down and let's come down where we have this virtual and you can see here we have that duration week so this duration week data is not stored in our database but it's act as a virtual property whenever someone will make the request it will attach to that but it's not in the database okay so that's that's why it's called virtual property you can see we have got this calculation okay this is the duration point zero point seven four one and you can check all this thing okay you can check other all the details will have this virtual property we have all this virtual property added to each of this data so let's come back here and i want to add one more thing okay so let's come here we have to add this two object as well okay so it will work on the both object and it will work on the both json okay so it's looking fine so that's how you can create virtual property i gave you the simple example but you can create as many data as you want depending on the type of application you want to build so that's the virtual property we have <coughs> and that's the only thing i want to cover about the virtual property and this is a very important concept you have to understand okay not all the time you're going to store the data into a database sometime you have to display the data on the base of certain calculation and in those scenario this virtual property plays a huge role okay so we are done with this virtual property in the next video we're going to talk about other functions so let's move to the next video